नमस्कार साथियों आज हमारे महासचिव संगठन के श्री के सी वेणुगोपाल जी आपको हाथ से हाथ जोड़ो अभियान के बारे में कुछ और जानकारी देंगे ये अभियान 26 जनवरी को शुरू होगा और 26 मार्च तक चलेगा और आज वेणुगोपाल जी हाथ से हाथ जोड़ो अभियान का लोगो रिलीज कर रहे हैं और उसके साथ साथ जो एक पन्ने का चार्जशीट है मोदी सरकार के खिलाफ मोदी सरकार के विफलताओं के बारे में उसका भी वो रिलीज करेंगे पहले ही मैंने राहुल जी की जो खत है जो हर घर पहुंचाया जाएगा भारत जोड़ो यात्रा का संदेशा लेकर वो पहले ही मैंने रिलीज किया है तो आज लोगो और चार्जशीट वेणुगोपाल जी रिलीज करेंगे और हाथ से हाथ जोड़ो अभियान के बारे में आपको संबोधित करेंगे भ्रष्ट जुमला पार्टी कुछ का साथ खुद का विकास सबके साथ विश्वासघात ये एक पन्ने का चार्जशीट है कुछ का साथ खुद का विकास सबके साथ गुड मॉर्निंग ब्रदर्स अवर भारत जोड़ो यात्रा इज ऑन इट फाइनल फेस नाइनटीन इवनिंग वी एंटर इन जम्मू एंड कमिंग एट डेज भारत जोड़ो यात्रा इज इन फाइनल फेस इन जम्मू एंड कश्मीर Padyatra this will padyatra party will be over on 29th january on 27 28 29 these three days yatra will be in kashmir valley till 25th we will in jammu region 30th is the culmination of this yatra 30th morning 10 o'clock our leader bharat jodo yatra ka leader rahul gandhi will hoist the national flag in jammu kashmir pcc office 10 o'clock 29 30th morning 10 o'clock 11 o'clock onwards we will start the public meeting पब्लिक मीटिंग में शेरी पंजाब क्रिकेट स्टेडियम इन श्रीनगर व्हेन राहुल गांधी जी होस्टिंग द नेशनल फ्लैग एट टेन एम इन श्रीनगर जम्मू एंड कश्मीर पीसीसी ऑफिस द सेम टाइम ऑल ओवर इंडिया एंड एयर डिस्ट्रिक्ट कमिटी will do the same program they will host the national flag in respective district all over india in solidarity with by showing solidarity with this bharat jodo final program we are very much thankful to the people of the country who make this yatra as a grand success now the yatra become a great movement of this country 
talk of the country is now about bharat jodo yatra the slogan which we are raising the bharat jodo yatra is become the slogan of this country main issues raised through this yatra you are already aware that unemployment price rise and divisive destructive politics of bjp and union government after this 130 days of this program historic program congress party got enough input from the people of the country while we walking tens of thousands of people lakhs of people are talking to rahul gandhi they we can understand the pain which indian people are suffering now due to the misrule of modi government demonetization bad implementation of gst everything created a miserable life for the common people of this country that have been reflected during the entire tenure of this yatra the party decided for a big follow up program for bharat jodo yatra named as has se has jodo abhiyan which is going to be start on 26th of january we initially decided for a two month campaign but sometimes because the yatra is going to be end on only 30th some state selections are going in between so we may extend for one or two months again but it will start on 26th this is basically what jaram ji told basically a house to house campaign to spread the message of bharat jodo yatra to the common people of this country all states are prepared for bharat jodo yatra we send observers throughout the country they had a series of meetings with the pcc office bearers and dcc presidents it will be that's why last day jairam ji released the message of rahul gandhi which is going to house to house part of the house to house campaign today we released the charge sheet against the modi government along with this respective pcc will make a charge sheet if it is necessary against the respective state governments where other parties basically bjp is ruling and other parties ruling so this campaign will spread the message of bharat jodo yatra to house to house all the, all the leaders seen including seniors and juniors will be part of this campaign i already told now we had a real field impact study about the country situation due to the bad policies of this national government you know the unemployment situation modi promised 2 crore jobs per year now 7 years 8 9 years almost completed how much job people got that is what people are discussing everywhere <laughs> the result is unemployment in the 44 year high rate now in this country unemployment rate rose to 8.3 percentage in december highest in 16 months this is not the congress report report of center for monitoring indian economy education field is collapsed fees tripled scholarship has been withdrawn scst scholarships 
Maulana Asad National Fellowship Scholarship. This type of scholarship has been withdrawn. Education sector is in a very distressed situation. Basically, demonetization impact you can see. A study of the Reserve Bank of India in 2018 noted that the micro small MSMEs have been adversely hit by the goods service tax rollout and demonetization. That is why job loss has happened. 3.5 million jobs lost in labor force of this country. This is also the same report. Do you know the petrol diesel price rise? Price rise issue. There is no comparison. In May 2013, the price of petrol was 71.41, diesel was 55.49. And liter crude oil price was that point of time US dollar 105.71 per barrel. In January 2020, the price of petrol was 109.66. Now it is again increased. LPG gas, petrol, diesel price are in all time high. Farmers are in a very difficult situation too move forward for their ordinary life. All the farmers during this yatra came and complained to Rahul Gandhiji, we cannot afford these petrol diesel prices. But lesser spaces. Attack on women. You know that. In CRB data, between 2016 and 2021, there is a rise of 26.35 percent of crime in against women. China's infiltration, our border issues, you know better than. So altogether, we can say that the country's political, economical, social situation is very much pathetic. That this all situation as reflected in this Bharat Jodo Yatra through the interaction, through the through along walking, talk with the, along talking, and other ways. Therefore, we are going to continue this process in this country. Yatra. This Padayatra we started from. January 7th, uh, September 7th from Chiam, uh, Kanyakumari. Now is ending on 30th in Kashmir. But the spirit which we got from this Yatra will not be end on this 30th. It will continue with the different programs, continuous programs, continuous mass contact program, including Haas Se Haas Jodo Abayan. This is what I want to say. शुक्रिया वेनुकुमार जी मैं इस अभियान के लोगों के बारे में एक बात कहना चाहता हूं ये लोगो है हाथ से हाथ जोड़ो अभियान का और ये लोगो है भारत जोड़ो यात्रा का रंग एक ही है डिजाइन एक ही है पर एक महत्वपूर्ण बात जो आज के लोगों में है जो भारत जोड़ो यात्रा के लोगों में नहीं था आपने देखा होगा कि हाथ से हाथ जोड़ो अभियान में अब है मुद्रा हमारा चुनाव चिन्ह है भारत जोड़ो यात्रा में यह चुनाव चिन्ह नहीं था हमारा कहने का मतलब है कि हाथ से हाथ जोड़ो अभियान भारत जोड़ो यात्रा का दूसरा चरण है भारत जोड़ो अभियान राजनीति से ऊपर हटकर विचारधाराओं के आधार पर राहुल जी ने मुद्दे उठाए चुनाव से कुछ लेना देना ज्यादा नहीं था हालांकि रोज आलोचना हुआ करती थी मोदी सरकार की नीतियों के बारे में पर हाथ से हाथ जोड़ो अभियान में हमारा निशाना सीधा है मोदी सरकार की विफलताएं 
हाथ से हाथ जोड़ो अभियान एक सीधे तरीके से 100 प्रतिशत राजनीतिक अभियान है भारत जोड़ो यात्रा के बारे में वो नहीं कहा जा सकता तो यही महत्वपूर्ण अंतर है भारत जोड़ो यात्रा में और हाथ से हाथ जोड़ो अभियान में पर हाथ से हाथ जोड़ो अभियान जैसा कि मैंने कहा भारत जोड़ो यात्रा का दूसरा चरण है इसके बाद तीसरा चरण भी हो सकता है चौथा चरण भी हो सकता है पर अब के लिए दूसरा चरण ही कांग्रेस संगठन जुड़ जाएगा दस लाख इलेक्शन पोलिंग बूथ है ढाई लाख ग्राम पंचायत है छह लाख गांव है और संगठन की ओर से हर एक राज्य में प्रयास किया जाएगा कि हम घर घर तक राहुल जी का एक पन्ने का संदेशा और ये जो आज रिलीज हुआ है एक पन्ने का चार्जशीट ऐसे तो सौ पन्ने भी तैयार किया जा सकता था पर आजकल लोग पढ़ते नहीं हैं ज्यादा और व्हाट्सएप में सौ पेज डिस्ट्रीब्यूट नहीं हो सकता कुछ का साथ खुद का विकास सबके साथ विश्वासघात इसी के आधार पर हाथ से हाथ जोड़ो अभियान की शुरुआत हो रही है अभी वेणुगोपाल जी आपके सवाल का जवाब देंगे नहीं वो तो वो टोल डाल चुके दिस इज आवर डिसीजन वी डिड इन डिस्कस एनी थिंग बिफोर दैट फाइनली वी डिसाइडेड दिस ओनली दिस इज द ओनली वन डिसीजन बिल्कुल तो ये बार बार कहना वो चैनल चला रहे हैं कि हम लाल चौक में तिरंगा नहीं फहरा रहे हैं ये बिल्कुल बेबुनियाद है ये गलत है हमारा पीसीसी ऑफिस लाल चौक में है और जब कांग्रेस के नेता पूर्व कांग्रेस अध्यक्ष हमारे पीसीसी ऑफिस में तिरंगा नहीं फहराएंगे तो और कहाँ फहराएंगे Not only, not only that, we need to, we need a permanent structure on this plaque. So for that, for that we need a land also. That is why we decided in the PCC office, which is Jairam Ji, which is actually in the Lal Chowk. Sir, how many political parties are there? Twenty-four political parties are there. 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 They are all attended. Faru, Faru Abdullah ji attended. <laughs> that question I already replied earlier. So Jairam ji already told you this is not a yatra relating to election. Our yatra is on ideological basis and issue basis. So we don't want to make it as an election even in the thirtieth. That is, we are very clear on that. This yatra is a different thing. But we invited all of them. I am very happy to that. Most of the political party. Represented, they send the people to walk with Rahul Gandhi ji. Most of them have already already they have done, and thirtieth also we invited political parties. They are all welcome to that. That is that is not going to be an opposition unity uh, for election. We don't want. We we are not thinking about in that line. We are we are we are, uh, the issues already. I that's why I told them. we are taking this yatra on the issue. Coming days it will come for election. Then that point of time we will see. All states headquarters, uh, all states are planning because it is a, actually it is going to be a three-month-long campaign. Therefore, some separate plan, campaign plan is decided by separately by PCCs. 
in some pieces for example jharkhand pcc is hosting on february 11th congress president is going to attend that fun function in the different different pcc is doing in a different way i spoken to tari gami ji who is the cpm leader in jammu and kashmir he already agreed to attend that yatra because already i told you abhi what what is the view of hrg i don't know but he i thought that i i i got an idea that he already already say say good words about bharat jodo yatra that's it that's a good thing the you will get a clear cut uh, reply in due course of time this type of thing what is what will be the follow up of the bharat jodo yatra definitely there will be by follow up we are figuring it out at least at least you have to see the response from the jammu region yesterday and day before yesterday during the rain was there in the morning 7 o'clock during the rain sir so thousand tens of thousand people are the to witness this yatra in jammu region Yeah. Not only security issue. I already told we we want a permanent structure. Though. If you if you go after after hundred years, somebody in next next generation going there, they have to see the structure. Therefore, we need to have a permanent structure. But therefore, some logistics we need it. That is why we decided our own party office, which is actually in the Lal Chowk area, there we have to do it. this is block level program brother you have to see the details of the bharat jodo yatra block level all the leaders of the congress party will lead from block to top that oi i already told we given invitation to all the political parties who can who can like minded political party who can join this yatra it is up to them to decide whether they have to come or not we are waiting so anyone talking about the large scale where the president is going to talk about the security issue that already cleared we have already cleared that issue now there is no further details is needed for that no no this question was asked in the press conference yesterday and the answer was given very clearly was the large scale has made a statement welcoming the party एंड दिस प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस हियर राहुल जी जम्मू में 24 तारीख को प्रेस को संबोधित करेंगे आप लोग सभी को मैं निमंत्रण दे रहा हूँ 24 तारीख को जम्मू में होगा 
और जम्मू से थोड़ा दूरी पर उसका एग्जैक्ट लोकेशन में भिजवा दूंगा और 30 तारीख को श्रीनगर में वो अंतिम प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस करेंगे शुक्रिया Okay thank you Kukan <laughs>